Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and in this video we will talk about Spring Security. Now Spring Security is a de facto standard for securing your Spring based application. Now think about this, now it doesn't matter what type of a framework or the language we are working with whenever you make an enterprise level project or maybe a web-based project one thing which concerns everyone and that is how do you provide security for it okay i'm not talking about the jvm level security i'm talking about the web level security example you know whatever application you have on the web now it can be a simple application it can be a very complex one where the data about your users are very important in fact overall the system is very critical so you, you want to secure those type of applications in a good way when i was working on my first web project the problem is i was able to complete the entire project the only problem which i was facing was about the login and logout and trust me as a developer my main focus was how can i complete all the features which a user needs i forgot about login and logout and then at the end of the project what i did i added some new features that's what we do right we complete the project and then we add some extra modules now when i was working with login and logout everything was working initially but after some time, you know, I was getting access denied for some pages. Even after logging, I was getting that. I, I have done that. So we have two different type of pages, right? We have public pages, we have private pages. And we have to make sure that public pages should be allowed to everyone, even if without login. But what about private pages? That's where you need login, right? So that one concern which I was facing. The second one was logout. Uh, when I was logging out, when you go back, again, you were logging in. So that was some issues which I was facing. The second issue we have when you work with the application is passwords. How will you save your passwords? Normally, when I was working on my first application, the mistake which I did was on the client side, when you see a page where you can have your username and password, you can simply type a password there and then you can see the password as well, right? And that's why we say, okay, make this password hidden. So you will say hashtag there. But what about the server side? I was actually able to see all the passwords, okay? So in fact, not the actual users, but when we were testing the application, when we were creating our own fake accounts, we were seeing our own password because I was storing all the password as it is. And then I realized, I did some research, I realized you should be encrypting your passwords before saving it. But do you think encryption is safe? People can hack it, right? So if you can hack the database, if anyone can hack your database, they can actually decrypt the passwords. In fact, they can do it with the help of Bruce Force Attack or something. They can decrypt your passwords. Then we can go with this stronger one, right? Instead of going for a basic encryption, maybe we can go for hashing. Uh, we can go for SHA-256 because MD5 was something which was obsolete at that point. But I was using SHA-256 and then I heard a news, which is they were able to create two hashes of the same message and anyone can hack it now right so even SHA was compromised then we had a new option and that is bcrypt now bcrypt is an algorithm which is specially made for saving passwords okay so that means when you create the application you have to provide login logout you have to do all the code in fact for every method which you call for every servlet which you create okay you can translate with other applications as well other languages as well so for the servlet for every servlet we have to check for the username and password we have to wait for the sessions and everything has to be done by you what if you want to use ldap what if you want to use the new google one which is auth2 for everything you have to include libraries you have to do a lot of configuration and that's where spring says hey developer you don't have to worry about all these things you want login i will help you you want logout i will help you you want to use bcrypt i will help you in fact in spring boot security we already have a bcrypt library what if you want to use LDAP? Spring Security says, I will help you there. Okay, when I say Spring will help you there, that doesn't mean Spring will give you everything by default. You have to configure it, okay? Spring will give you those features, but then we have to do some configuration there. Okay, when I say some configuration, trust me, it is some configuration. Because if you do that by yourself, you need to create multiple files and you have to die doing that. And that was my experience when I was, when I was working on my first few applications in fact i did well when i was working on a big project but everything has to be done by we developers okay so we were five to six people and then everything was so difficult to manage i'm not talking about the features i was talking about the security okay uh, so spring will help you there but the moment i say spring will help you that doesn't mean spring will give you everything there are certain things you have to do by yourself you have to configure it so when you do this for the first time it will be difficult because we'll be getting a lot of files, we'll be getting a lot of functions. 
But that's the thing, right? You will be doing this only once. You will not be doing this every time because you will build the project only once. And while you're building the project, you will do all this setup. You know, day by day, you will keep adding new features. You will not be doing the same thing again and again. So that's why Spring Security is amazing. It provides you login, log out. It provides you. Oh, we have forgot about one thing. It's not just provide you authentication. It also provides you authorization, which simply means uh, authentication is who are you, your username and password. But what about, let's say if I talk about web application where a user can read the articles, a content creator can create the article and they can write the article. The admin is responsible to create new users. Admin is responsible to create new content writers. So here, everyone have a different role, right? So as a user, you can only read the articles. You cannot modify it. As a content creator, you can edit your own content. You cannot edit someone else's content. As an admin, admin can add content, admin can remove content, everything. How about those roles? And that can be done with the help of authorization. And Spring Security will help you in both authentication and authorization. But how exactly to do that, that we'll see in the practical video.